A person with normal digestive health does not require any toilet paper due to the absence of soiling. Bowel movements are regular, and the feces do not produce any odor and do not leave marks on the toilet bowl. Most ordinary people require toilet paper. This is an indicator of their poor digestive health. For people with GI problems, IBD included, the degree of soiling generally correlates with the severity of their digestive problem. A person with normal health and digestion is able to hold up to one liter, 4.2 cups of urine in the urinary bladder. However, modern sources do not even mention frequent urination with reduced urinary volume as one of the key symptoms of active IBD. The volume of urine accurately reflects the state of the GI system and degree of inflammation in people with IBD. Normal digestion also means that there is no need to regularly or perpetually consume pounds of yogurt or any supplements with probiotics. These signs of good digestion relate to normal gut flora and the absence of pathological microbial films on the surface of the small intestine. This is another rarely discussed topic. Formation of biofilms by pathogens is the norm in cases of inflammatory bowel disease. Common triggers of GI flare-ups in people with IBD include mechanical triggers, abdominal pressure due to poor posture and squatting, chemical triggers ranging from acids present in ordinary diets to spices and essential oils from toothpastes, and many more. This book provides a systematic review of these and many other hidden triggers and symptoms of ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. Without knowledge of these factors and symptoms, it is nearly impossible to heal the gut. Most people with IPD can achieve no soiling, no need for toilet paper, and a few days and clinical remission in one to two months. Click the link below to find out more about this Amazon book.